Did you know that candy canes have some cool Christmas symbolism? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about candy canes. You see, I don't know if you know this or not, but a lot of the Christmas decorations and foods and stuff that we that we have during Christmas time, they can point us to some really important truths. Yeah, so it's really it's really important during the Christmas season to not get too overwhelmed and too obsessed with all the the decorations and the presents and all the stuff that goes along with Christmas. And all that stuff is great so long as it points us back to Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what a candy cane does. There are a few different theories about who invented the candy cane and exactly why they invented the candy cane, but the truth is we don't know 100% for sure. But the symbolism wrapped up in them, we can know that. You see, a candy cane is shaped like this because it's supposed to help remind us of what's really, really important during Christmas. And what's important is Jesus Christ. So how does a candy cane remind us of Jesus? Well, honestly, there's all kinds of ways that a candy cane reminds us of Jesus. For one, it's a candy cane. It's shaped like a shepherd's crook. And that's to help remind us of the shepherds that went and met baby Jesus on the night he was born. See, they were up in the fields and they were watching their sheep and then some angels appeared to them and told them about the coming Messiah. They told them about Jesus Christ being born in a stable in Bethlehem. And so they saw baby Jesus and then after they saw baby Jesus, they ran off and told everyone about what they had seen. And the other thing about a candy cane is if you turn a candy cane upside down, what letter do you get? That's right, you get a J for Jesus. But it's not just the shape that reminds us of, of good, important things this Christmas time. The color does too. You can see it's red and white. The red reminds us of Jesus' sacrifice and the white reminds us of his purity and our purity in God's sight when we accept the gift of salvation that Jesus paid for with his sacrifice for you. The Bible says that everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If we accept Jesus as our Savior, our sins no longer count against us which is amazing, and it is the thing that we are excited about on Christmas, that Jesus would come to earth, that God would send his only son to the earth for you and me, that God would send his only son, Jesus Christ, to the world so that he could save everyone. And that's what we're celebrating this Christmas season, is that God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So next time you see a candy cane, remember what all it symbolizes. Remember what's really important this Christmas season. There is so much during the Christmas season that can point us back to the true meaning of Christmas.